I, I have Bruce Bernard and the Angel with Homer O'Dell wrestling Mike Hendrick and somebody else when they came out, the baby faces came out and painted Homer O'Dell yellow. And so these, these people don't know who who we're talking. You don't about. know who any of these people you've are. Heard, you've heard about Jimmy's. Go to the refrigerator. <laughs> come back in fifteen minutes. We'll be done. We're just having fun. Over you've there. heard about Jimmy's uh, lifelong childhood friend Kenny Bowen, <laughs> who, uh, who I love dearly, and who I attribute putting on many many pounds on my body. The world's largest <laughs> wrestling man. Because he, Kenny he could get he could get free food anywhere, anytime. Best you know. Anyway, <laughs> Jimmy has, has friends like I got here. He's my best friend that we went to wrestling in high school together. That was our deal. You, you know? and Mike Henry. We went to school together, went to wrestling together, and that's where we met Michael Hayes, you know, and da 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 Wait anyway, a minute, you met Michael Hayes in high school? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Was it detention? No. Michael Hayes, no. <laughs> I don't want to go there. I was going to get some Michael Hayes stuff I shouldn't tell. <laughs> I love Michael Hayes. He knows it. But but anyway, uh, this, this Mike, Mike Henry was my best friend then, and we broke into the business together. He started wrestling before I did, and when we graduated high school, I went into the Air Force right away. We graduated high school in 1972, and I went right into the Air Force, and he went to college to become a lawyer. So during uh, the summers, he would wrestle, you know, when he was out of school for the summers, and that's when you first saw him up yeah. in Tennessee, and all that. And then he, he'd done it for a number of years. He wrestled his way through college, you know, literally. And I, I remember... Uh, when I, would, when I was working the, the territory of Mississippi that we were talking about, it was during one of the summers, he was living with Port Chuck Cash in Memphis, working that territory. <laughs> and I would, I would, when I'd have time off, I'd drive up there and, of course, stay with him and go to uh, the uh, Mid-South Coliseum.